outdoor learning and the life of a camp counsellor. Spending the past summer at camp has enabled me to have the best time of my life. However, it was not all fun and games. Children with cancer come to the camp to experience things which they missed out on during their childhood, whether that be swimming, playing sports or even learning different things. One huge part of camp was outdoor learning. Whether that be exploring the woods and the new environment or simply using chalk on the playground, the children spend most of their time outside learning. Outdoor learning contributes to personal growth and social awareness and develops skills for life and the world of work. Qualities such as a sense of responsibility and a purpose in life are nurtured, highlighting how outdoor learning makes a major contribution to the physical and environmental education and enhances other subject areas. Roald Dahl once said, the more risk you allow children to take, the better they learn to take care of themselves. One question asked a lot is, are there any benefits of outdoor learning? And the answer is yes. Studies show that students who get to experience an outdoor learning environment tend to be more attentive and therefore have a better recollection of the information that was shared. Furthermore, children often have too much exposure to digital screens via televisions and cell phones. This can result in a nature deficit disorder, which may lead to obesity and possible psychological and academic issues. Outdoor learning allows students to put their focus back on nature and their education in comparison to online social media. Outdoor learning also provides children with a hands-on experience in nature in comparison to learning most of their knowledge through computers and through listening to their teacher. Children are therefore able to see, smell, hear and touch things they're talking about in nature in comparison to watching them on TV. Most of the activities which happened at camp took place outside, from outdoor cooking to a new sport called Quidditch. But one activity which most of the children enjoyed was nature. In nature, we taught the children how to survive in the wild. This way of outdoor learning prepared the children for if they were ever in a situation which they were stuck and could not get out of, whether that be by themselves, in the forest, or simply wanting to camp out in their garden. Within nature, we taught the children how to make a fire from scratch, how to make a fort if they ever needed to, and also how to apply emergency first aid to a wounded patient. Studies have shown time and again that the most effective means of learning skills is by doing. Martin and Brunig highlight in their 2006 study that learning outdoor activities can only come with experience, experience kids get through outdoor education. These skills are really only limited to the instructor's comfort level with risk. Gardening, using a compass, navigating by the sun or moss on trees, building a fire, all of these are skills kids soak up in open prepared classroom. Outdoor learning encourages children to discuss and study together during whatever the project they are doing. Children will be more engaged and feel more obliged to share their findings with their peers to ensure they are on the right track. Being a Year 3 primary education student and a camp counsellor for the past two years has allowed me to see the benefits of outdoor learning and everything that has to offer. I firmly believe that children who have the opportunity to experience outdoor learning will progress in their educational ability. These children will become more successful as their grades will improve due to their experiences. Please follow me on Twitter at MissMcCabe98 as I'd like to share my teaching journey with you. Thank you.